Hello everybody, I am Julie Huck and I am here today for a very exciting interview. I am going to be interviewing Ed Huck, who is actually my husband. <laughs> and the reason I'm interviewing him here in our community room, the Ed Huck Team community room, is because we are starting a series called Take Your Unfair Share in a Shifting Market. And so I want to talk to different agents about how did they survive a shift? How did they not only survive, but how did they thrive in a shifting market? And so I'm really excited to have Ed as my first uh, person that I'm I've interviewed. So excited to be here too. I know, I, I thought you would be. And so first of all, I, if you don't know Ed, um, can you just tell us a little bit about how long have you been selling real estate? So I got licensed in 1992. So I've seen a couple of shifts. Obviously, most people are, are uh, remember the last big shift that happened in 07 and 08, and um, we talked a little bit about how we survived it, and actually came out of it like a slingshot. It did awesome. Yeah. And so, what shifts have you been through? So the big one we can talk about, you know, what is a shift? Is is let me dive into some of this. I brought a, a PowerPoint for us. And He's taking over. Isn't this take, great? Take right over. This is like our normal life. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, it's good that he takes over because he knows what he's talking about. So he's going to tell you what is a shift yeah. and what shifts he's been through. And so you take it away. I'll move out of your way. So this graph shows number of homes sold in a particular year. You can kind of see we had this huge, this is 1990, we had this big ramp up to number of homes sold. We peaked in 2004, 7. 1 million homes sold, which was phenomenal. This also includes new construction. And then you can see this shift in 2005, or sorry, yeah, 2006, it was six. We went to 6.5 million, and then 2007, five million, and then the, you know, the bottom really fell off in a, in a quick three years. So you can see the same things kind of happened since then. We've kind of had this slow ramp up since 08. Uh, in 2021, we had, was our third best year ever as far as number of homes sold in the industry. 6.1 million homes transferred in 2021. Okay. They're predicting, and they, they have the math, the numbers now, it's right about 5 million homes transferred in 2022. So what do we see here? Shift, right? There's a huge drop off of 20% of number of homes sold. This shows the average sale price over the same time period. You can see as we had that ramp up, we ramped up to about $222,000, but this is national stats, by the way, so this is the whole United States. That started peaking in about 06, which this is the 4% line, so we try to keep on average, you can see this since 1990, on average homes appreciated right at about 4%. Then we got out of whack, things kind of, at one point were 21% above that trend line, Supply and demand and economics says if you get too far away from that trend line, naturally you're gonna get brought back to it. So that's part of what happened during the crash. Obviously there was a lot more complicated than that. There was a financial crisis and bad home loans, all that. You can see though, we kind of reset in 2010. We started the trend right along that 4% line, kind of simultaneously, until COVID. And then all of a sudden, everything went crazy. For the last couple of years, um, average sale price has, has spiked. We're actually over that trend line again. The interesting thing is we're not only about 12% over that trend line, not the 21% we were, we're back here. So um, you can definitely see that we're gonna actually shift back to that trend line. This shows home appreciation over that same time period for, on an annual basis. You can kind of see we were in 2000, was it four or 2005, we appreciated 12%. Then all of a sudden, we only appreciated one, and then we started depreciation. When was that? That was? That was basically from 05 or 06 to 2011, 2012. So that was the first shift. That was a the most biggest recent shift. big shift. Yeah, that you lived through. Exactly. Okay, and now, because of this data, we see that we're going into another shift. Exactly. Okay. And you can see now home prices, Last year on an annual basis, across the United States, home appreciated at 18%. You can't sustain that. Last 
year, uh, assuming that was in 2021. Mm. 2022 is about 10%. They're predicting the nationally values be flat. So we're not going to predicting depreciation or appreciation for next year. Okay. So, so Ed, yeah. are there more stats we need to go through? Yeah, there's one thing that I think okay. that really relates back to us as agents, if you're looking at this from the agent side. This takes into consideration sides per agent. What that means is how many available transactions are there for each one of us as agents. And you can see back in um, the 90s and early thousands, we're averaging about 13 or 10 or 11 sales available per agent that's in the National Association of Realtors. You can see um, even during the crash, there was a lot less homes for sale and there was a lot less agents. You can also see nowadays, uh, if you take this all the way back to what's happening now, there's only 6.3 sales available per agent. Hmm. The reason is because we added 580,000 agents in the last 10 years. Hmm. So that means there's a lot less opportunities for you to make in, in commission income. Okay. So I think that's kind of a, a real eye opener for most folks who's not being able to see that. that yeah. And that, that just contributes to the changing market They're that's just really, happening. That we're really in a shift, yes. right? We're really yeah. in a shift. It might not feel like it because homes are still selling quickly. So the great houses are still selling for over asking price. So you're like, no, we're not. Mm -hmm. If you look at the big numbers, yes, we are. There's gonna be a lot. They're predicting for 2023, about 4.3 million homes to transfer. Mm -hmm. Down from 6 million in 2021. That's a huge shift in available transactions. And now there's way more realtors than there ever have been. So there's two big problems right there. So how do we, as agents, get our unfair share? Because there's still how many 4.3 million homes that are gonna transfer this year? Yes. So we still have an opportunity of 4.3 million <clears throat> homes. And so as agents, what is your advice? I guess, how did you make it through the first shift? And then what is your advice for us as we enter into this next shift? Yes, in my opinion, it's all about numbers. It's all about your database, all right, or your data bank. So you have to write really big. I'll so write they really can big. Data bank. So it's all about your data bank. There's actually two pieces of your data bank, right? There's if for those of you that read the Millionaire Real Estate Agent book, it's divided into there. There is your met. So the people that know you as this pen dies, and there's the not that. What we're gonna focus on is, is the net. Mm -hmm. So we know that if you have 200 people mm. in your met, that should equate to at least a fair goal minimum of 10% of those to transfer, that's 20 sales. And that is if you are working your database. That's if, and if you read the Millionaire Real Estate Agent book, means you have a 33 touch program. So you're hitting those people 33 times over the course of 12 months with emails, postcards, pop buys, phone calls, just a systematic system to continue to, to hit these people. There's two other things we know about this is and this is why it's so important to track your numbers as you go year in and year out. So if you knew last year you had 200 people in your database and you, that equated to 20 sales, you've also got some other sales because you did some open houses or did some other marketing, et cetera. But if you know this net database generated this, this 200 sales, excuse me, 20 sales, what happens now is we just said there's gonna be a lot less transfers, right? So you need to increase the number of people in your Met database if you want to sell 20 houses again. The big question is going to be, well, two reasons you need to add more people. Number one is, on an annual basis, of those 200, some of those people move out of town, they pass away, they get married to somebody that is a realtor, <laughs> and whatever, you're going to lose about 10% of those folks every yes. year. So you have to add 20 people to your database every year just to break even mm -hmm. 
Now you know if you want to actually still break even, you have to add the 20 plus there's going to be a lot less opportunities. So you need to add maybe 40, 50 people to your Met database just to hit your 20 sales again. Uh -huh. And you cannot let up on your 33 touch. So I think what really got us through was knowing our numbers, making sure that we kept adding and adding to our Met database and not stopping the touches. I think uh -huh. so many people stopped doing the client appreciation events, um, picking up the phone and calling people, just popping buys, providing value. I think these are the two big things that really got us through um, the, the shift in a way. So having a database? Yeah, number one. Right? Yep. Um, making sure you know how many people are in your database, and then realizing, did you, how, 30%, you have to do 30% more activities or add 30% more to just break even, or was there a percentage that so you could say it's, if, the, if the market's going to be down 20% this year, there's going to be 20% less available transfers this year. I would say you need to add that 20% into here. So that's 40 more people. Plus oh, the 10%. Oh, plus the 10%. Right, right, yeah. So you need to, your job every day is to figure out how I'm going to add more people to my database. Okay. And have an amazing follow-up system mm -hmm. that's systematized and simple and easy that you will actually do that make sure that those people know you love you are always going to use a growth. Yes, and so that, that is awesome. And that's what brings me back to, we are going to be meeting here in our community room every other week, talking about different ways to add people to our database, different, different techniques that we can use to um, meet more people, to work our database, to, um, have more efficient lead gen, more efficient conversion. And so we're starting a series coming up. We're gonna keep interviewing awesome agents like Ed. He's probably the most awesome agent, I would say, but more <laughs> awesome agents who have been through a shift, get their advice, but we're also gonna do this series. Next Thursday, March 16th, we're gonna start with um, an open house. So it's the ultimate open house playbook. We're gonna meet here at 9.30 in the morning and go till about 11.30 and really dig in how to make the most of your open houses because that is an amazing way to add people to your database and hopefully get a couple appointments out of it as well. So I wanna teach you that. So thank you so much, Ed. Thank you for sharing your wisdom and knowledge. And um, we will see you all soon. Thanks so much.